More naked truth from the Mitchells. I'm not really staying here. I just couldn't help but put my nose into this great little caravan. 1930s, all original, and it's part of the Bakelite Museum collection. There is only one Bakelite Museum in England, and supposedly only one in the world. This is it, here in Somerset. This whole museum is just full of nostalgia. And when I spotted this 1950s television, it brought back wonderful memories for me. Sat with my granny, watching the coronation, on a little box just like this. Patrick, how long has it taken you to make this collection? 30 years, and uh, 1968 I started with uh, a radio on my paper round. And how many pieces have you got in the collection? Oh, uh, 7,433, I think. By the way, I've heard a little rumour. I've been told that when you die, you want to be buried in a Bakelite coffin. Is that true? <laughs> no, I wouldn't be seen dead in a Bakelite <laughs> coffin, but I'd love one for the museum. <laughs> Another day, and an authentic English breakfast, but this time at the Royal Oak Hotel in the village of Winsford. Set on the edge of the Exmoor National Park, Winsford is famous for its eight bridges and for being the birthplace of Labour Minister Ernest Bevan. And I felt there was only one way to see the surrounding villages. Good morning, Robin. I'll be right down. What a fabulous car. Well, I'm just an old-fashioned guy at heart. And after a great day like this, what more could you ask for? Views like that? home-cooked food and scrumptious local wine. There are thatched inns and cottages to choose from throughout the West Country. David's three-night break, staying two nights at Hoop Inn and one at the Royal Oak on a bed and breakfast basis, is £114 in summer. A vintage car trip for two with a champagne picnic costs around £50 per person. Details of all the holidays featured in tonight's programme are on CFAX page 618. Next week, Fasten Your Seatbelt returns for a Christmas special. Craig Doyle tries to impress his guests and Father Christmas when he becomes a tour ref in Lapland. But will he survive the Arctic chill? I am so cold. I am just absolutely freezing. I can't even... I can't... I can barely move my head. And Alice Beer goes to work for Walt Disney World in Florida, but will she hit the right notes? We hope that we can make you smile. We got trouble. So until next week, goodbye. The pressure on Jamie could be too much to bear. EastEnders here on BBC One next. It was really a small piece in quite a large jigsaw. Who watched the programme? I find it difficult to understand when people commit these crimes. And shared the knowledge. Well, I always say metallurgy, but you can say metallurgy. Which helped solve the crime. We proved that the weapon had been used in a particular environment. He made the call. Would you? I just look upon it as helping in a small way. Crime Watch, tonight, 9.30 on BBC One. If life's not a challenge, it's not worth getting out of bed for. An experience never to be forgotten. A diver's worst nightmare. It was then that it happened. I heard a noise which you could only equate with whistling. A sinister force deep below the surface. 
What happened next literally took my breath away. A haunted shipwreck. Mysteries. Challenging explanations in half an hour on BBC One. She's delighted audiences for half a century, but now she might never sing again. Julie Andrews speaks to Omnibus tonight at 10.15 here on BBC One.